Well, Matt, you've now had a, a full week really to think back to last Saturday's result against Bradford. Now you've seen it back. You know, are you still as pleased now as you were on, on Saturday with the point? Very much so. Um, spent Sunday watching the game and making sure that I think sometimes during during the game and after the game emotions are high and you do 100% as a coach miss things and, and I probably did and the reason for that is because I I thought we were better watching it back in the second half I thought that our decision making of the space to give away was brilliant we spoke about it at half time that when this scenario happens, and, and I've been in it as a player many times, you have to surrender some space on the pitch and give it away. And we prioritise that we protect the middle of the pitch. And when you look at our goal, the number of bodies that we had in front of it, protecting it for the whole second half, I thought was immense. The players wanted to defend, they enjoyed it. And, and when you look at, I think, the benefit that it can have for us now moving forwards in terms of camaraderie, teamship, the forming of bonds becoming stronger, I see it as, as something that most definitely we can use to our advantage moving forward. And you mentioned on the day just how proud you were of the, of the team, you know, and watching it back, it, it's clear to see that you're even prouder of them. And, and they use the characteristics that you highlight constantly by bringing players into the club to get them through that game. They did. What they did is they did it for each other. They made sure that each and every one of them on the pitch and the players that came onto the pitch to contribute gave everything that they possibly could. We talk about 100% commitment being a non-negotiable and, and that's 100% what they did. So that now unfortunately for the players is a benchmark and we're going to expect that every single day in training and also every single match day because we can play better and we've worked a lot this week on making sure that, that our patterns of play are um, better and and now the challenge for the players is to replicate out of possession what we did on Saturday and when we have the ball to be braver, make better decisions, take far more risks in the right areas um, and be probably slightly more ruthless because we still created chances in the game. Uh, 11 v 11 we scored a, a very good goal. I expect that to be similar on Saturday, I expect us to create chances but we now need players in the team who are more confident in getting into those areas so we're not stood in areas we're arriving into the box at the right time we've got some exceptionally gifted footballers and hopefully now they're, they're slightly more confident we're back at home we're playing a we're playing an opposition that have lost the last three games now it can backfire on you i understand that because they're going to be desperate to win this game. Their manager, Nigel, will be desperate for their players to show a real response. Um, but what we've got to do is we've got to start the game well. We've got to earn the right to impose our structure. I talk about it all the time. And if we put the same amount of effort in and we improve on the ball, I think we've got a fantastic chance of um, taking three points on Saturday. That's obviously taking nothing away from the opposition, who I believe are still one of the favourites to, to gain promotion from this league. Before I go on to that game against Mansfield this week, and I was going to highlight the, the fact that we had a development game this week, and there was a, a number of first team, you know, squad players there, but players that you know are clearly in your mindset that got valuable minutes, and that's going to be key with the likes of say Josh Labadie missing this weekend. Of course, it is. I, I spoke about it after the game and said that it's a squad game. It's always the way. It's about the group. It's never about one individual. I thought the players when we turned up for, for the fixture um, at Preston and you look at the names on the opposition's team sheet but what our players didn't do is they didn't falter we had three or four scholars playing who were immense considering the players they were up against it was a fantastic opportunity for, for like you say some players that maybe haven't had as many minutes as they would like to get some valuable minutes because we've got lots of football coming up and for me now personally it gives us another chance to judge the players in a match-like situation. It's a competitive game, it's a league fixture and, and I, I would say that, that Matt along with myself and Neil who were also there, we were really proud of the, the young players that came through that um, test with flying colours. And moving into this weekend's game, you've already mentioned it there, they've lost the last 
three games in the league, four in all competitions. But you were expecting another really tough test from Mansfield Town this weekend. Hundred percent. They're a team that have got some really, really good footballers, and they've got a manager that is extremely experienced, very capable, and he's a winner. So, from my perspective, we respect the opposition 100%. And, and we do that in the best possible way by making sure that that we earn the right to play in the game. And what I mean by that is it's it's replicating what we did at, against Bradford, but with 11 men. And if we do that, we know we will create chances. It's just whether we take them or not. That That is ultimately what the game will come down to. But what I will say is that I want to see an aggressive start to the game from us. Uh, I want... You know the game plan. The players will understand the game plan. We've worked on it today. We'll do so again tomorrow. And and once those ideas are, are in their head, it, it's then once they step over that white line, then making decisions. Uh, I think that from speaking to them this week, they're they're extremely happy. We're back at home. I hope that we can start to to maybe get a few more fans through the door to support the players um, because they're on this journey with us. And that was, that was why it's so important when we do go away from home and we are at home, win, lose, lose or draw, that we go over and thank the fans because they're so sort of paramount to what we're doing at this football club. Yes, you know, the players are the lucky ones that get to go on the pitch, but without the fans, the, the atmosphere that it brings, it's a very much a different place. It was sterile last year with football. So I'm extremely excited to be back at the Bankses. I know the players are. And they've got to go and deliver a performance to, to show the fans that, you know, that they really mean business.